Okay, so I got a chance to check out Infinity Pool in its last remaining few days of its theatrical release, and this is going to be my spoiler-free quick thoughts on the movie. I think the acting and the story is exquisite to watch. I think Mia Goth is a goddess of horror. You know, Mia Goth is just one of the most attractive females of our species. You know, she's the definition of a perfect final girl and you know she has a rocking body you know she's a great human and you know she just continues to impress me time and time again you know she gave a phenomenal performance in x she gave another exceptional performance in pearl and long and behold she gives another really powerful and engaging performance here in infinity pool and Mia Goff, she takes this character and this material to such an extreme level. Like, you know, she takes it to the next level of depravity. And, you know, if you loved Mia Goff in X and Pearl, why don't you see her in this movie? And what her character eventually evolves into. Because, you know, at the start of this movie, you know, she's, you know, she's just, you know, like this fangirl of James Foster's book. But then you, where you see all, when, and then when you see all, where all of these events are leading to by the end of the movie, it's, you know, it really is a once in a lifetime experience, the movie you're about to see. And, you know, I'm about to get more into that. But your Mia Goth, you know, she is just a magnificent actress, you know. I always look forward to a Mia Goth film whenever I see her name, you know, in the trailer or on the poster. I or, or in some kind of you know marketing investment, I always get excited for a Mia Goth film. And nine times out of ten, I will be there opening night to witness it. And this film is no surprise to that. And now the visuals are absolutely outstanding to watch. Um, this film is just one bad trip because there's a lot of flashing colors, there's a lot of change of colors, there's a lot of you know changing of images. And it's as if you ever wanted to feel like you were on drugs, but not actually under the substance of drugs. And kids, don't do drugs. They're bad for you. Um, this film is the way to witness it. Because, like, when you're looking at the visuals that this film is presenting to you, like, you are hypnotized. Like, you can't look away. Like, you can't blink. It's like you are... It's like you are, you know, you're transcending yourself into this story of madness. Like, you're pushing yourself further and further into the madness that this film has already portrayed to you. And, you know, Mia Goff has a sex scene in this film, so, you know, that's always a bonus. Um, but, you know, I have never seen quite a visual format and a visual scheme quite like this. Because... The visuals, these film, this is just, you know, like, out of this world. Like, it is, the visuals are truly breathtaking in this film. And, you know, it's all hammering home a point in the story. And speaking of hammering home, the graphic content in this film. So this is from the director of uh, Possessor, Brandon Cronenberg. Which, for any of you that saw Possessor, that was a very wild and brutal and graphic film. And now, Infinity Pool, this film is definitely graphic. Don't get me wrong, this is a graphic movie, for sure. But, all of the brutality that you see here, it's all hammering a home in the message, you know, it's not just, you know, violence for the sake of violence, it's not just, you know, shock value for the sake of shock value, it's, it's there to portray a point 
in the story. This isn't a film that this isn't a film that is trying, you know, to disgust you and you know and make you feel bad for watching it. Because this film is already terrifying in so many many other areas. But you know, the violence that you do see, you know, it does feel earned. You know, it does play a part. Like, you know, the executions that you see are quite graphic. But you once again, you know, the executions are a big part in the makeup of this story. And yeah, that's I feel like I've already said a bit too much, so I'm just going to leave it there. Um, and, you know, I, I just want to speak on Mia Goff for a second because I have to continue praising her in this movie because, you know, she's going to be a highlight. You know, she's going to be the reason why a lot of horror fans buy a ticket to watch this movie. It's because of Mia Goff. And I would say, you know, she is so worth it. But I want to, you know, portray one more point here. You know, this film is all from the point of view of James Foster. Like, everything you see, it's from the point of view of James Foster. It's how he portray. It's how he portrays this foreign country. It's how he sees the women in this country. And you're, you're seeing it all from his lens. And Mia Goth, you know, she's framed very specifically. Um, you know, she's portrayed as this sex object to James Foster because you know literally one of the first scenes that you see of Mia Goth is you know is her you know m you know jerking him off and you know and then you see his cum you know, drip on the stones like that's that's an actual scene in the movie <laughs> um so yeah, you know, Mia Goff is very much, you know, whenever you see her, you know, she's always wearing, you know, very, you know, short clothing, you know, she's always, you know, seducing James Foster. And in many ways as well, you know, she's also seducing the audience. You know, she's trying to, you know, lure you in to her game, into her sadistic game. And it's just like, that's what I loved about Mia Goff, you know, characters, because she pulls you in more to the story. Because, you know, you have to really, you have to really think here, you know, like, as a male, and you see, you know, a, a chick as attractive as Mia Goff, like, you, un you, you aren't going to try and hit on her. <laughs> like, I, don't, I wouldn't know, I don't know a single human in this world that would not hit on Mia Goff. And, you know, this film, you know, I would relate a lot to Hostel because it has a lot of similar themes and it's even, you know, it's totally different. But even then, there's still parts of the tone that do carry over very much into this movie. And, you know, like, yeah, like, I know you know, my review of this film, you know, isn't very consistent. You know, I'm just speaking from, you know, from what I just saw. But... You know, like, I, you know, I really liked how, you know, how Mia Goff is this character that, you know, you know, she has, you know, a rocking body, but, like, and, you know, the more, the more you see of her, the more transcending into madness, you know, James Foster is going and the audience is going, is you, you're getting more sucked in to this, you know, into this game that is the events that turn out. In this film and you know I think a lot of the visuals are trying to portray a very you know a very you know psychedelic um, a you know what it's like to kind of what it's like to kind of go insane and what and how somebody's mind can just you know can just completely explode and just you know just I really you know just, I, I really love all the different themes of this film and this will be a film that people will continue to talk about for the next year because especially the ending of this film you know there's many different interpretations of the ending I've only seen the movie once I definitely want to go back and watch it a second time and a third time and really 
find out, you know, what is my justified ending of Infinity Pool. One more point I want to bring up before I end this video is the acting outside of Mia Goth is absolutely masterful to watch. The actor who portrays James Foster in this film, like, and the different character beats that he goes through throughout this film, you know, he re requires a lot of praise here because he is exceptional, especially what happens to his character and the different forms he goes through within the movie. You know, I really, really liked his character. And I thought, you know, everybody just helped to really, to really amplify this movie. Like, I, you know, I, I'm not going to point out, you know, individual, you know, individual actors and actresses, but just everybody really amplified this movie to really bring it to life. And if you ever wanted to see a creepy kid in a horror movie again, well, long and behold, you, there's a kid in this film that's in it for maybe two minutes. But there's a scene at the end of the movie, and it's one of the most frightening images I have ever seen. And just, you know, and I loved it. Like, you know, I just, I loved how unique this film is. This is just a wildly unique film. It's a once-in-a-lifetime experience. You, you won't be able to experience a film like this, you know, anywhere else. You won't get quite a director like Brendan Cronenberg that is as risky with his statements and that has something to put on the horror genre. You know, he's very much, you know, continuing in his dad's footsteps with his movies. And, you know, I wasn't a big fan of Possessor, but if you are a fan of Possessor, you will absolutely love Infinity Pool. And even if you weren't a fan of Possessor, there's a lot to enjoy here in Infinity Pool. Once again, this film's not going to be for everyone. Because, you know, there's a lot of stuff that happens in this film that a lot of the mainstream audiences won't appreciate. And they won't appreciate the very unique feel and tone to this film. But then, you know, saying that there is, you know, there is a lot of stuff that happens. There's a lot of stuff that happens in this movie without going into specifics. You just have to watch it, experience it for yourself. I would, I would highly encourage you know, everybody, you know, to check this movie out. I think it's a very, um, I think it's a very, very, uh, interesting movie that, you know, I had a great time watching and, you know, when I left the theatre, nobody in my auditorium, I was only there with like 10 other people, but no one else was talking about this film. This film left absolutely everybody dead silent and just, it was such a weird experience, you know, walking out of, out of the theatre, you know, as the end credits were happening because yeah that's uh, but this is one of the best but weirdest you know viewings I've had with the public in such a long time but you know I had I had a great time with Infinity Pool so yeah check it out all right guys that that's it for me today